Okay, so Filmora 13 has dropped. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you just a few features, a quick walkthrough, and if you're wondering, I have the exact same hardware that I had before, and I gotta tell you, Filmora is much, much faster than it was before. If you right-click on it, you have AI vocal remover now. So you can remove the vocals from an audio track and that is beautiful. But another thing that it's working really good now, now with of course the small kind of not maybe perfect, but it works st still good is speech to text. Why is this good? Because now you can do the lower third uh, text on your videos automatically. Of course you have to go around and iron out maybe a few wrinkles that are there, some words will not be caught and some words would be caught wrong, but it's much easier than having to type your entire thing and then insert your own subtitles on the video. Because now, yeah, it's a thing. It's really good, actually. I appreciate a lot of YouTube videos that have subtitles. Even though I understand what he's saying or she's saying, I just like to have subtitles. And yes, it's made with uh, AI tokens. I have 60. I can refresh it. I bought a few, at least for this video. You can buy 5,000 credits pack. Here, let me just not put too much of my own info. You can buy a 1,000 credits pack for $10. You can buy 5,000 credit. And you can buy 10,000 credit pack for 20 bucks. And yes, these are credit, credits to use text-to-speech, speech-to-text, AI music, AI image, AI copywriting, and AI text-to-video. And let me click OK right here. Uh, OK, I now let me just refresh. Maybe it's my internet not being that great today. So yeah, it works, despite my internet not trying to be the best. OK, now it has been completed. And as you see now, we have a text field here on the bar. And if you double click it, you'll go word by word what the AI thought or thinks that you said on this video. And here, for example, let's see, let's see if it's accurately transcribing what I said on this one. One of the styles you can DJ, but out there, there's a million styles you can DJ about. So as you see, I said you can DJ, uh, there's a million styles you can DJ about. Let's say I want to change that. Even though this is actually perfect, that's what I said. You have the text right here. And if I want to see, say instead of there's, I can do there is a million styles you can DJ about. I hit save. And now as you see, but out there, there's now it says there's a million styles you can DJ about. I believe this is actually great. Now there are going to be words that it doesn't catch right. For most part in my videos so far that I've tried, it worked really good. Now, if we use sometimes that kind of jargon language or lingo or whatever you want to call it, urban language. Yeah, there are words that it probably would skip or entirely get another word to stop, substitute it by accident. Now that it's trying to censor anything. But it's by accident or by misunderstanding of the AI. And that is the way you can go back in and correct that word or those words or an entire segment of your sentences and how it splits it in kind of segments. I really like that. It makes it very easy to go back in and edit them. You can cut it here. You can delete it if you don't like it. It is, it is absolutely beautiful in my opinion. Now, the next thing in right here would be when you click export. When you click export now, we have some of these options that have been here before, but they have improved dramatically at this time. And this is, for example, the thumbnail. Now, my videos are tutorial, and a lot of times I cannot just leave what's in here, but here it would uh, suggest you take other thumbnails based on what I would call a screenshot model. So it takes a screenshot from here, you hit edit here now, now you're inside the thumbnail editor. I'm going to skip this one. You can add text to it right here. Let's say let uh, G2V. I'm just going to put G2V. It's not going to be anything. I'm just going to customize it real quick. Color fill. You can change the filling color. You can remove the fill and go with outliners. If you want to put outliners, you have templates that you can go download, custom, vlog, food, it, just let it download, it will show you here on the side. You can do title AI generating or AI title generating. You can do for YouTube video title, 
video chapter, knowledge introduction, video oral script. I'm gonna do a YouTube video title. Uh, okay, title, what would be the video content? For example, in-depth review of Gemini G2V DJ controller. That's all. In-depth review, English, advanced options. You can pull here number of results. It will cost you credits. I'm gonna leave it at five. And it feels kind of a chat GPT-ish form of uh, deliverance, but we will see what titles it will suggest us. And as you see here, we have five choices to make. In these, first title would be Gemini G2V uh, DJ Controller, a comprehensive review. That's actually a really insightful and informational title. When you hit export in here, you can do auto highlights, uh, cloud, well, you guys know what I think about the cloud. And here, of course, if you have a dedicated GPU like I have, you need to turn this on. GPU accelerated video encoding. If you don't have this on, you will really have to wait for the CPU encoding forever. It will take forever. So if you have a dedicated GPU or a powerful enough GPU, Please enable this. Yes, you have the uh, Filmora Copilot. That would be kind of your chat GPT version within Filmora, I would say. For example, how to remove silence on this video. And you hit enter. And it will give you an answer based within the, the software itself. As you see here, to remove the silence in your video, you can use the silence detection function in Filmora. This feature automatically scans and eliminates silent pauses in videos. And that feature that it's talking about is this one right here. The AI based, all that stuff. And when you're in here, you can do sound based editing or text based editing. I like to go sound based editing because I find it quite better. But text is the new one that you can watch the clips and get rid of the text and all that. In my opinion, sound-based is much better. You go here, for example. The best way, if you don't have a lot of noise, I found that it's around 20%. So you don't cut out words or semi-words. Hit restart. And as you see, all these gaps right here, for example, are either hums or lower noises and you can play it. You're about to play this. See how it skipped that? And if you want to bring it back that you did not mean to remove it, you click this eye here and it brings it back and look how that sounds. You're, you're about to play this example. You're about to see that I don't need that breathing. So I can just let it remove it and you hit finish and replace. And now the video is auto cut. Just enjoy your uh, media. For example, you have stock media right here on the side. You can have your own library. And from the partners, which is from Pexels, Jiffy, Pixabay, and Unsplash. Pexels has millions upon millions of footage that is copyright free. Now, what you should do when you get from Pexels, you should just give them probably uh, credits if you can. But if you cannot and you get it from Filmora, Filmora becomes kind of your intermediary to give them credit. And as well, just like this, you can go to audio. And you have audio files, copyright free, when you buy Filmora. And you can use AI to suggest you if you want to for your type of videos. But in my case, for example, you can go to paid. I have a full version paid anyway, so I can actually download them. Or you can go to the free versions if you have the different license in Filmora. And you can use all these on your backgrounds. You have sound effects, you have AI music. To generate AI, you can start making your own music. You can make it happy, chill, emotional. Uh, let me make an epic one. Music duration a minute. I'm gonna put it 30 seconds because that's what the video is right here, for example, 35. And generated music count, I'm gonna leave it at three. I'm gonna start and let's see what it generates for us. And as you see, all three tracks are actually now done. Let me play just one of them and see how it's done. Wow, I actually downloaded this one because I like it. Look at that. The AI inside Filmora made us a really beautiful background track. I mean, seriously, you, you, you're you not going to find a better one. Now, yes, it needs credits. Here, the second one. And here's going to be the third one. The 
This one sounds more like when you do aerial footage and you can put that as a background music. That would be really, really good. Just like that, no sound, no effects, nothing. And now we have this one right here. Let's watch it really quick. Now that's to me looks beautiful you can add other clips and cut it shorter make uh, scene switches make different transitions because filmora has a lot i mean a lot of transitions with effects you have stickers you have templates you have all that stuff and yes it's not loading good for me right now because my internet is being really really silly today so it is what it is i'm just telling you that there's a filmora 13 and they seriously improved the software dramatically now let me export this one again and see how long it how long it takes yes we well, i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna take probably the thumbnail because we have a different video now. I'm just gonna put a test footage and hit export. And that is all it takes. This is in real time. I did not speed it up. Yes, it's only a few seconds, 30, 40 seconds, but still, that's faster than it used to be. Filmora 12 was great, but it was not the fastest. This one, whatever they did in the code, they did a great, great job. And here you have intros you can use for your videos, you can make your own stuff. And with that said, this is just how I see Filmora and what I'm seeing on the new Filmora and I'm liking it. Great, great job, all you guys at Filmora. I really appreciate what you did with it, thank you. And with that said, thank you for watching, I hope you learned something. And please hit like and subscribe, we'll see you next time, bye!